Hello, hello, Tatum here, welcome back. Today I'm bringing you abs and glutes, so let's get to it. All right, we're gonna get started with our abs and glutes today. Uh, very short workout. I have a band here, one of these glute bands. It's a circle band. If you have one, that would be great. If you don't and you have one of the other um, tube bands or flat bands, please grab one. I also have a kettlebell, but a dumbbell will work. And paper plates or furniture sliders or some sort of gliding disc for one of the ab workouts. And then I also have some heavier weight because we will be deadlifting, all right? So this is going to be a, pretty, a large muscle type of compound movements as well as uh, some isolated movement, all right? Um, but we want to warm up very quickly. I'm not going to do a lot, but just a little bit to, to engage the glutes and the abs. So let's go ahead and let's start that timer. We're going to come down to a kneeling position. All right, and I'll start here to the side. You're going to lift that knee kind of back out and around towards that elbow and in, okay? So back out to the side in that fire hydrant position, up towards your elbow and around. Just keep circling around with good control. Nice work. Ooh, yeah, just squeeze. Feel it in the bum there. Okay, we're halfway. I'll turn around and show you the other side. Here we go, back, out, and around. We're only doing this once today. I have two more exercises we'll do once just for a little bit of activation here. I would suggest maybe a five minute cardio warm up too on top of some of this activation if you need to. It depends on what you've done today. All right, we got a little curl up sit up here. Arms overhead, curling up. Touching those toes, coming back nice and slow. There you go. Just take it easy, just warming up. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit today. And up. And down, good. Nice and controlled, we're halfway. It's just about 45 seconds today on everything. We'll have a little bit of 15 seconds transition to rest. Again, this is just part of the warm up. Engaging the abs here for a few of the, I think I have two ab exercises in this. Well, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a band walk. So grab your bands. If you only have a flat band, you can also do these uh, monster walks where you're gonna walk forward with straight legs and back. Or grab your looped band. All right, we're gonna put this on. I'm gonna move it just above my knees. I'm gonna press out against this band and I'm gonna walk forward, pressing out with straight legs, okay? Try to keep your upper body still, right? And I'm gonna walk back. So I'm not trying to swing into it, all right? Because then I'm helping those hips out, all right? And you can bend down just a little bit and press out as you walk too, forward and back. Good, I'm gonna bend into it just a bit or you can do a stiff leg, standing tall. Good, feel those glutes, outside glutes. You should feel them, okay? Not the front of your legs, but these glutes working. All right, that's time, woo! All right, you should feel them. We should have touched on them somewhat. That's all I wanted for now. Foam rolling, some sort of warm up before would be great as well. We have 20 seconds. Oh, we wanted to put that band back on actually. And if you don't have a band, I'm gonna demonstrate this real quick, one of the looped bands. You're gonna step out, squat, in, out, squat, in, out, okay, go side to side. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Three, two, and one. Here we go, I'm gonna step out, squat, in, out, squat. Good, I'm gonna do three, and then I'm gonna move back the other way. One, two, and three on this, okay? Good, whoo, <laughs> this is all it takes. I'm done, I'm spent. All right, my goodness. Good, to the left. I love these bands, you can find these online. Some of them have a sticky grip inside, some of them don't. Keep going, 15 seconds here. And then we're down to the floor. We're gonna take this band off or drop our other band and go into a crunch, okay? Three, two, and one, good. All right, 15 seconds to transition. We're gonna come down. We're gonna do a single leg lift and crunch, okay? Here we go, in five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna alternate our legs, okay? Lift, 
and crunch up. If that feels too difficult, even with a single leg today, I want you to go ahead and bend and crunch up here with a bend. Now, on these crunches, try not to pull on the neck. You just wanna lift those shoulders. So I try to keep my elbows back and I think about pushing my chin towards the ceiling, all right? We're halfway, blow that air out as you lift. Inhale as you come back to the floor. Good. You got it. Now, if that's easy and you want a little bit of a challenge, you can leave those feet up and do a wide scissor here with that crunch, okay? Nice work. Let's rest it out or transition. We have a sumo deadlift, getting into those hips and glutes even more, okay? Outside glutes. So feet are wider than shoulder width, okay? You can take your weights in between your legs here. Make those feet pretty wide, all right? Toes are out. Now come down in that deadlift to stand, okay? So you get notice what that looks like. Let's go to the side, flat back, then come to stand, okay? If you're not feeling those outside glutes, squeeze. Squeeze them, maybe go wider with your feet, okay? Good, we're halfway. Really get into that wide stance, toes out. Squeeze those glutes as you come to stand. Nice flat back, push those hips back, don't let them fall below the knees though, okay? We're pushing back towards the back wall. Good, three, two, and one. Good work. Whew. That got me, all right. To abs here, we're gonna do some inchworms with a tuck. All right, if you have the gliding disc, if not, jump it in. All right, so follow my lead. We're gonna walk it out and then we're gonna tuck and pull in, okay? Walk it out, tuck, walk, tuck. Good, all right, turn around. If you have more space, just keep moving. Walk, tuck, walk, tuck, walk, and tuck. Good work. We're halfway, keep moving. Again, more space, just keep going down that floor, that basement, wherever you are in the gym. Good. A few more, a couple more. Tuck, inchworm out, and tuck. Nice work. <laughs> all right, I told you, we're kind of gonna move here, all right? But now we're gonna do a kettlebell swing. If you're just getting started this, please just do a regular swing. If not, you're gonna do a step swing with me, okay? So we're gonna step side to side here with that swing, okay? Three, two, and one, here you go. Now, I know some of us only have dumbbells at home. All right, so for those of you who are already moving through this motion, we're side to side, shoulders are down and back. Step and swing, okay? Squeeze those glutes. You got it. If you have just a dumbbell and you haven't done this before, you're gonna grab your dumbbell with your hands in the center and you can step and swing with this. You can even grab the top of it, but please be careful. All right, you wanna make sure that you don't slip and let go of that weight, all right? A couple ways, you can go out and buy a single kettlebell or so and some weight that you need as well. All right, nice work. High five, woo! I'm already feeling that. We have 30 seconds, let's grab a sip of water. We're headed back to the top, so we have to get those bands ready. So again, a looped band. Let me demonstrate this one again with a flat band. All right, you can squat, step out, squat, step, squat, you know, just side to side there, okay? Here we go. Go ahead and begin. Exercise one here. Step it out and squat. Step, squat, in. Step, squat, in. Good. Change it up, left, in, and step, squat, in. I gotta do it, try to do it a lot here. <laughs> All right, step, squat, in, good. Keep mixing it up here, side to side. Step and squat. Now, make sure, a lot of times I get people who step too wide, and then they're like this, squatting. Make sure you're about shoulder width that you can press out and keep those knees over those ankles, okay? Three, two, 
and one. All right, so don't push out so wide that you can't press out against the band and those knees cave in. We don't want that today. All right, we have our little crunch with a leg lift. So let's come down the ground. We right, get ready to go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Lift, single leg lift with a crunch. Good, lift those shoulders. Press that chin towards the ceiling. We don't wanna pull on the neck and in, all right? We wanna actually just think about lifting those shoulders up off the ground. Good, exhale on the lift, inhale on the lower. Good, you got it. Halfway. Control that lift and lower, especially the lower. Don't just plop the leg down, okay? I want you to bring it down with control. Set it down gently. Again, if we need to, we're just here marching it with a bent knee. All right, time, nice work. Right. Sumo deadlift. I'm using two, you could just use one dumbbell if that's enough weight for you as well. All right, so assuming you have some weight that's enough, you can just grab it here and work your sumos here coming down to about I would come down at least mid chin if you can with good form, okay? I'm gonna try both of these weights again. Again, feet are fairly wide, toes out, so we can push into those outside glutes, okay? Here we go. Squeeze up. Nice flat back, shoulders are down away from the shoulder. We're not reaching the weights towards the floor with our arms, okay? Because that's where we get a lot of rounding, is when you're trying to reach here. You gotta keep those shoulders set in place. That touching the floor or coming lower comes with a bend in the legs. But you wanna keep that bottom pushed back and above the knees, okay? Three, two, and one, rest. Good work. Shove those out of the way. We have our inchworms with the knee tucks, okay? So we're gonna crawl out and we're gonna tuck our knees in. If you wanna do a pike, you can. Whew, here we go, three, two, and one, walk it out. So, and, and, and I want you to walk it out all the way so those hips are level with the floor, and in, okay? So not here, and then in, all the way out, come out to your level, here, and then pull in, good. Walk, 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 tuck. Get a full plank with those hips level to the ground. Pull those knees in, we're over halfway, you're doing great. Tuck. Tuck, good. Three, two, and one, good work. All right, rest. We have our swings, glutes and core here, abs and all, just going about chin height with a step or no step. I want you to think about pulling those shoulders down back, squeezing your armpits in, okay? Here we go, we're gonna swing and step side to side. Squeeze those glutes, all right? Stepping side to side. If that is too much, don't knock out your knees today. Just work on your swing, stay stationary, squeezing the glutes and working there, okay? Good. You got it, 23 seconds, we're halfway now. Just about chin to nose height, okay? Maybe forehead if you wanna take it a little higher. Just make sure that you're pushing those hips back again, that the kettlebell stays close to the body. I'm not dropping it towards the floor. It's going right underneath my body, okay? And time. And the other thing is making sure those shoulders stay down and back, it kinda squeezing them in and keeping them in place against the body. Woo, all right, we have one more round. One more round, you're doing great. All right, I hope this is different than what you think when you think about glutes. Um, I know a lot of times, even though we need those activation ones, like the circles that we did in the beginning and those walks, that um, we gotta get our band ready. Go ahead and grab your band. So you think about a lot of these small pulses and things, and yes, we want those too. This is a little different. We're working some, we're working them in a large way, <laughs> in a big way. Good, so step out, squat, step in, okay? Step out, squat, step in. Remember, that step out is about hip width. Let's just make it hip width so that you don't run the risk of having those knees come in and your feet turn in and everything as you step out, okay? 
So small step and squat. You can push out against that band and get those, keep those knees over the ankles. Good work. Other side. You got it. And in, step, squat, in, step, squat, in. Good, all right, and that's time. Nice work. Whew. Crunches, okay? Do well, this is our last round. You can always stay around and do another set if you want when we wrap it up here. All right, here we go. Crunch and lift. Shoulders up off the ground, chin towards the ceiling. Fingers are lightly placed behind your neck just to support it, your head, your ears, but I'm not pulling on the head. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to keep my elbows back. Just lift my shoulders. I have good control over the lower of my leg, all right? Good control. No plopping, <laughs> all right? If you feel that you're plopping, that you're just dropping that leg, I want you to come in and bend it for now and lift and lower here, okay? Good, lift. Exhale, exhale, inhale as you lower. Blow out on that lift, inhale on the lower. Three, two, and one. Good work. All right, sumo squats. Woo, another squat going. Here we go. I'm using two dumbbells. Feel free to have one. Feet are gonna be wider than shoulder width apart, okay? Toes out, here we go. Get in a position, get those shoulders down and back. Flat back, here we go, squeeze your glutes. Nice and wide. Feel the outside of those glutes working. Good. Push the bottom back, All right, towards that back wall. Don't let it drop below the knees. We're over halfway. Good. And squeeze. On that stand, you got it. Shoulders stay down and back, no reaching the dumbbells. If you touch, it's because you bend. So keep that butt back and high. Three, two, and one. Good work. And worms are next. Grab your paper plates, that's all it takes. Some paper plates or furniture sliders. Walk it out so that those hips are level with the ground, okay? Don't uh, short change that plank, okay? Walking it out to that full plank here, all right? Then tuck, pull in. Forcefully with those lower abs. Good. Exhale when you pull in. Nice work. Keep going. You can speed it up if you want. Walk it out a little faster. Just make sure you don't short change. Ooh, that plank. So humid, I think everything's sticking in here. Halfway. Here we go. Pull those feet in. This works with towels as well. If you have a slick floor that you can drag some towels on, okay? Three, two, all right, that's it. Rest on that one. Good work. We have our swings. Last one today. Again, a quick workout on abs and glutes. All right, we're getting the heart rate up here too with these deadlifts and swings. Whew, feels more like a real workout here, okay? We're gonna swing and step it together side to side. Pop those hips forward, squeeze the glutes, shoulders down and back, squeezing those armpits shut, okay? You shouldn't be able to get a finger in your armpit, no. But try to squeeze tight as you swing. We're halfway. Good. Pop it up. Make sure those hips are forward, all the way tall. Good. You got it. Five, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right. Woo. I don't know if I have my towel here. I thought I wouldn't need it. Guess I did. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Let's go ahead and do just a couple quick stretches on the hips. Not a whole lot. We'll just go into a little standing, um, and you can do this from the floor. Just cross your leg and sit down into it, okay? Right here. Get that stretch in that hip, in that glute. Good. Other side, you can hold on to something if you need to. The balance isn't there right now. Let's go ahead and grab on to a chair, a couch, a wall. Good. 
Drop the hips. There you go, feel that stretch. Nice work. Let's give it a little back bend from here. Reach back. Nice job. All right, that's it. That's all we're doing today. I hope you enjoyed that quick blast of the abs and glutes. If you'd like to see more, let us know. Be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell. And if you didn't see it, no glutes, no glory, okay? And I wanna say this, I know we're all about the, what, our appearance, but our glutes are very important and our, our abs and our core and helping us maintain good form and um, activation and all the other things that we do um, outside of the gym to inside the gym, from our squats to our deadlifts to everything. So everything needs to work together. Everything should be activated. So make sure you do practice this stuff and good luck to you. And please comment if you have any questions. Have a great day. High five.